Welcome back to week two, Igneous Rocks and Volcanic Activity. And in video two, we're going to talk about identifying igneous rocks. Um, and how do we do that? Well, we use two things, texture and composition. So different textures. Um, we have pegmatitic, which uh, is extremely coarse grain, phanoritic, which is coarse grain, aphanitic, fine grain, porphyritic, two grain sizes, glassy, vesicular, fragmental, and then composition. So kind of see what these look like here. Texture, your grain size, pegmatitic, your grains are really, really large. You can see from the scale on the bottom here. Phanoritic, grains are pretty big. You can see the minerals with the naked eye. Aphanitic, very fine. You can't actually see the minerals with the naked eye. So in this um, kind of aphanitic, fine-grained category, we have glassy looks like glass, vesicular, there's kind of air bubble holes present, and then what's called porphyritic. And porphyritic igneous rocks can be aphanitic and phanoritic. And basically you have two grain sizes. In this picture up here we've got larger, uh, these black minerals which are amphibole, and then a fine-grained kind of background. And that's the same case down here. You've got this fine-grained background and then little specks of larger minerals in there as well. And the last uh, texture that we have is what's called fragmental. Fragmental can be coarse grained. You can have large chunks that are a centimeter or two in size. Um, random material, all different types of rocks. Um, vesicular sections do it. Just random stuff all jumbled up in this rock. And then we can have fragmental and fine, which would be kind of this ashy um, texture. So very fine grained, powdery like feel. And here you can see these lower layers here are the f uh, coarser fragmental layers and then the top would be the ashy fragmental layers and this is Mount St. Helens deposits uh, that were left behind and then uh, composition is all based on what minerals are present so ultramafic down here would be dark greenish uh, dark black in color so they have mafic, ultramafic minerals like olivine and pyroxene present dark or mafic uh, are going to be kind of a darker gray black color and they're going to have your um, plagioclase feldspars, uh, amphibole, and pyroxene. The intermediates are going to be kind of grayish in color or salt and peppery. And then felsic are going to be very light or pink in color. So they're going to have biotite, quartz, potassium feldspar present. So when you're in lab um, and you're identifying these different textures and the different compositions, make sure that you're paying close attention. If you want to have more details um, with some hand samples, check out the lab prep videos.